Let's look at what happens to air when we consider its moisture content. The sun heats the ground and causes thermals of warm air to rise up. As air rises and cools, it becomes saturated with moisture, which condenses and forms clouds. Temperatures and dew points drop with increases in altitude. Because the rate of decrease is different between temperature and dew point, there's a particular altitude where the temperature will drop to the dew point. This is called the condensation level. This altitude can be estimated by taking the temperature dew point spread, or the temperature minus the dew point, and dividing by 4.4. In this example, the surface temperature and dew point is 70 and 48 degrees Fahrenheit, respectively. So the spread is 22. If we divide 22 by 4.4, we get 5, or 5,000 feet as the estimated base of the clouds. This is just an estimation, of course, but this is the formula used on the test. Warm air rises as long as it's warmer than its surrounding air. Thermals of warm air will not rise any higher when the environmental air temperature is warmer. So here we see a level where the thermal of 70 degree air will stop rising due to surrounding air being 74 degrees warmer. The air mass is said to be stable when the air does not cool off very quickly with increases in altitude, causing air to be trapped somewhat closer to the surface. Because the air doesn't continue to rise, but rather spreads out, clouds that form in stable air are called stratiform clouds. They are stratified or spread out horizontally. An unstable air mass is one where the temperature drops off significantly as the altitude gets higher. As long as the thermals are warmer than surrounding air, they will continue to rise even after reaching the condensation level where clouds form. This causes vertical development of clouds called cumuliform clouds. They accumulate upwards, cumuliform. Because there's significant updrafts of thermals in cumuliform clouds, they tend to bring heavy turbulence and precipitation is heavy and showery and can even bring thunderstorms. These are the type of clouds typically seen during the summer in the United States or in tropical areas mostly. Stratiform clouds bring steady precipitation that may last all day or longer with little turbulence. Because air is trapped below a certain level, visibility tends to be poorer in stable air with stratiform clouds. On a clear day, the heating of the surface from the sun continues unimpeded. Thermals of air rise up and cool. As soon as the sun sets on such a day, the surface cools rapidly and air just above the ground finds itself cooler than the air above it. This is known as a temperature inversion. Since surface air can't rise above the warmer air, it's trapped close to the surface. This is sort of the ultimate stable air environment where anything in the air is trapped and unable to rise, so mist, haze, and pollution tend to pool close to the ground.